What up y'all, it's your boy G on the Segway. Look, today's video, we're gonna talk about this DJI Action 4 and this GPS remote. Now, how do we get this started? What you're gonna do when you're at the DJI website is you're gonna go to the download section and you're gonna look for DJI Mimo app, okay? And then you're gonna download it for your platform. If you guys are using Apple stuff, use the Apple download. You can also download the, download this on your laptop, your Windows computer, or your Apple computer. So once you get that out the way, um, we're gonna go back to the Android, because like I told you guys, this is an Android uh, tutorial. So a lot of you guys have been wondering about the DJI Action 3's remote. So here's a remote right here, okay? This little contraption here has two, you have two um, parts to it. You got a longer piece, and a shorter piece. The shorter piece is to tighten it up. The longer piece is to figure out how long you need, how much of it you need to get around your wrist. If you guys aren't very good at putting on things like ties and watches by yourself, then this you're gonna struggle with this part a little bit. Now, once you get the bigger side on, you tighten it the way you want it to be tightened, okay? And then you take the smaller one, that's this one here, and you finish wrapping it. Now you have it here on your wrist. Okay, once you have your DJI app downloaded, you go on ahead and you pull down on the top menu and you see the Wi-Fi button. You wanna press that one time. Now, if your Wi-Fi button is automatically connecting, if you have it set to automatically connect to a network, turn that off because you're gonna need it to just be open and just to have your Wi-Fi signal on. So I have my Wi-Fi signal on now we're gonna turn the camera on. Camera button right here, power button, you just press it real quick, fires up quick. All right, so now you're gonna to go to the DJI Mimo app and there's mine right there. I'm gonna press on it. On the very top, it should say connect. If it never says connect, you're gonna click device. And it's gonna look, now you see, it says action four. You're gonna click connect. And sometimes you have to press it more than once, but this one works fine. And see, now you guys see me, right? You see me, right? Okay, so right on the bottom of the screen, you see that little play button? Looks like the button right there. You click on that. These are all the videos. This is the video I'm gonna use for the example. So I'm gonna press this video. There's two ways to do this, guys. You see this little button right here on the bottom right? You can press that and then press full download, right? Or you can back out of this where it shows you all the videos. You can go back to this screen and right here on the top corner, you can press that button to select multiple videos. I will not select multiple videos, I will just select this one. So I'm just gonna press it one time. And then on the very bottom here, you got that little down arrow. We're gonna press that and let it download. Now wait for this to finish downloading and then I'll see you guys. All right, so now once you get the video downloaded from the camera to your actual device, you wanna go on ahead and go from action four to download it. So we're clicking on download it and boom, there's our video. Okay, so we're gonna click on the video and you see the settings here. Now this part's important. When you guys are going to down, to, when you guys wanna make changes to the video that you just uploaded to your device, you wanna have your phone like this or your Android device, even if it's a tablet, guys. This app was designed for cell phones, not for tablets. So if your tablet's laying sideways like this with the keyboard and everything on the bottom, you're not gonna get the options you're looking for here in this video. You have to turn your tablet sideways like this. So disconnect your keyboard just for this part. Now, once you have your thing sideways like this, you look on the very bottom right. You see that little equalizer looking emblem? You press on that and then boom, now you have options. You got trim, D-log, filter, dashboard, and stabilization. To get the telemetry data, you wanna press dashboard. Now, if you wanna add some color without doing it manually, 
DJI's D-Log option will give you the option to add more color. It'll just do it automatically for you. And then if you like it, you can stick with it. If not, you can do some custom settings. But right now we're gonna press speed, right? Now we got the speedometer. You guys can see it's in kilometers per hour. I am in the States, so I'm gonna go for miles per hour. How do I get that? Well, if you put your finger on the screen, on the speedometer, you see I'm moving it around. There's that little piece of paper with pen on the top left corner of the speedometer icon. We're gonna press on that. And now if you look on the very bottom, right below edit, it says kilometers per hour or miles per hour. I'm gonna click miles per hour. Then I'm gonna press the check button and we're good to go. Now it's not finalized yet. You got route, direction, total distance, elevation, G-force. You can put whatever you want on here. Not all of these options will allow you to change the parameters. Like let's just say elevation. I'm clicking on elevation. If you look on the top right, nothing shows up for, you know, there's no pen and paper that shows up. So it's going to be in meters. All right. If you don't want that, you just press the elevation button again and it'll unhighlight itself. For now, we're gonna stick with the speedometer, okay? You cannot, I repeat, you cannot, at least in a mobile app, change the size of your parameters, whatever you wanna have for telemetry data, you can't change the size. You can only relocate where it's gonna be. We're gonna press this plus to check button, and then we're gonna go on ahead and press that D-log. I wanna show you guys what that D-log does. Look at that, it's pretty dope, isn't it? So um, we're gonna go on ahead and on the top right, let's, let's look at the top. You see where it says original resolution? Okay, if you press that, you got custom resolution. Now, what that will do is allow you to either, it'll just allow you to downgrade. You'll, you'll start off with your resolution that you recorded the video at. I recorded this at 2.7K. So if I press custom resolution, you see, we're working with 1080p all the way down to 720p. So if you want to keep your custom resolution, you'll just press it where it says 1080p in the middle on the very top. I mean, you'll press original resolution, sorry, and then press a little arrow next to original resolution. Then you hit export. And we're going to go on ahead and let this do its thing. And once it's done, um, you guys will be ready to upload this to your social media platforms right now What the app is doing is saving the file with the speedometer that we just placed into the video It is um, saving it to the file and then it's going to add it to the file folder on your device So the thing about these apps are when you guys are as far as the GoPro app goes and the DJI app goes you have to to make sure you have double the capacity of storage space on your device from the video you you know from the footage that you want to edit so if you record 10 gigabytes of footage you want to at least have 20 gigabytes of storage space on your device because if you don't there's a really good chance you'll run out of space before you even get to shoot your video off now you're probably going to edit your video down a little bit chop off some you, you know useless footage or whatever but um, that's just a rule of thumb. It's not absolute, but it's a rule of thumb. So, um, and as far as the DJI app, the only way guys to get the telemetry data on your videos from the D recording with your DJI action Four is if you download the file wirelessly, if you take your mini SD card and you put it in the SD card reader and you connect it to your Android device and you download those video files onto your Android device, it will not have the telemetry data from the remote attached to the files and you won't be able to change anything. You won't be able to add any telemetry data to your video. The only way that I've seen so far, if you guys know any different, put it in the comments below. The only way I've seen so far to get the telemetry data from your videos when you use it with the reward, with the GPS remote is if you do it wirelessly through the phone. You can connect the USB-C cable from the phone from the from the camera to your phone and you will not have the telemetry data stitched to the footage. I don't know why that is, but um it's just a little pain in the butt, but this it is what it is for now. DJI, you guys have a better way of doing this. Like, you know, uh, GoPro used to allow you to take the mini SD card, put it in the SD card reader, plug it to your phone, and then another option will show up in the app saying, hey, I know you got your video files here. And then you can just straight hardwire download it instead of having to do it wirelessly because now the camera gets hot and I'm using up my battery. So that's something that 
you know you never really hear anybody talk about but yeah if you want the telemetry data if you if, if that's all you want with your video you need to have this downloaded wirelessly between the camera and your phone or your Android device um, if you don't care for telemetry data then you can hardwire it you can plug the mini SD card from the camera into a SD card reader plug the SD card reader to your device your Android device download the videos and then edit it however you want that's going to work totally fine so um we got this downloaded and uh yeah watch the video All right, that was actually a pretty fun little quick spin around the block. Anyways, so we'll go back to the app, right? <clears throat> Let's, let me take you guys back to the app. Okay, so we're back in the app. Now you guys can see exactly what I was telling you guys. If you guys are gonna record footage, you're gonna need at least double the space. You can see here in the app, it says videos that were downloaded. I have two of them. One that you've pulled, the video that you pulled from the camera to your device. And then once you edit it, once you add the telemetry data to the video, it's gonna save it again, but with the telemetry data. This can be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Good thing is maybe you've looked the video over and you changed your mind. It was like, you know what? I wanna add this parameter or I wanna take this one away. You got a full original document here that you can go on ahead and pull. You can delete the one that you thought you wanted to make and make a new one, okay? I'm gonna go on ahead and delete the old one because it's still on my camera. I haven't deleted it from my camera. So you press the, you, you, you can, there's two ways to do it. You can press that check mark on the top right, right? And then you can just press batch select if you want to delete a whole bunch of videos. I'm just gonna delete this one that you guys see here. And then I'm gonna go on and press on the bottom left corner. There's a little trash can, I'm gonna press it. It's gonna ask me, hey, you sure you wanna delete this? Please believe I do, okay. Now, if you guys wanna share this video to your social media platforms, you press the video, right? And on the bottom, no, on the top right, the arrow that's pointing up to the sky, you press that one. And then it says download file to share, you'll press yes. And you can see right there on the very top, it's got the blue bar, that's your status bar. Let you know, hey, we getting this thing ready for social media. Some of you guys might want to just use the remote just as a remote. You just want to be able to control the camera. One bad thing, okay, I got some bad news for you guys. This remote cannot turn this camera on. I repeat, this remote cannot turn this camera on. So what does that mean? That means if you guys want to use this camera mounted outside your vehicle or your motorcycle, for example, and you want to use this remote to control it, you're going to have to just leave this thing on in order for this remote to control it and to provide GPS data to your footage when you use this remote to record. So we're going to turn them both on. Power button. Press it real quick. Hold this one down on the remote until it turns on. Release it. They should connect very quickly. All right, see, they let you know, hey, we're connected. Okay, now this little quick button on this camera, on this uh, remote, you see that little button there? <clears throat> that remote will allow you to quickly scroll through some options on your, on your camera. So I'm gonna press it and you'll see. C1, C1, photo, video, C1. You have to be pretty quick with it because if not then um 
you're gonna be double tapping and triple tapping so how do you actually select or how do you get your camera set up so that when you press that quick button the options that you want for sure to be used will show up well we'll press the button here the power button just quick tap C1. And you see those three buttons on the top right? You gotta press C1. those. You gotta press them quickly. You scroll down. Everything highlighted in blue are gonna be the options that the remote will scroll through. And the power button when you quick press it. When you quick press them, it'll scroll through those options. So you can select and deselect which options you want this function to operate through, okay? Or scroll through. So I'm gonna press it again. C1, photo, video. Those are the three that I have. And then your remote, if it's on photo, of course the record button will take the photo. If you wanna be sure, if you wanna be extra safe, you can put a timer on it. You know, we'll, we'll go to photo real quick. C1, photo. Okay, now for photo, you can't set the timer with the remote. This is where you're gonna have to put your pause on your camera and get in here and press in the middle. And then you see you can do a countdown and you can change your aspect ratio this camera isn't really photo heavy okay so to speak so don't expect to get super good like photos out of this thing it's just not going to work out um, before i let you guys go we're going to do a range test yeah let's do that okay, let me give you guys the rundown on this range test right now you guys are going to be sitting right next to the action four on rodney Okay, you guys are right next to them. I got this long measuring tape. I'm gonna measure exactly how far I go before this stop working. Now, how are you guys gonna know when it stops working? I got the Rode Wireless Go 2 with the two transmitters. The Action 4 has a transmitter, so every time I press this button, the Action 4 is gonna speak. I'm going to cycle through the different video slash photo modes, and um, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start off with this tape. Let me do the full measurements first. So I'm 25 feet from you guys. C1. All right, 50 feet. C1, photo, video. Now, I tried this test inside my home. I went all the way downstairs and I was pressing this remote now behind two walls in my house and it was still working. I about went in the garage before I wouldn't be able to hear it anymore and it was still working. C1 photo video. C1 photo video. C1 photo. C1 photo. C1 photo. And that's how far this remote can actually transmit to the actual camera. Okay. That that was actually quite impressive. Um, that was actually quite impressive. I think that's more range than the Insta360 and the GoPro's remotes. I'd have to double check. If you guys want to see those videos, go on ahead and hit the like button. If you like this video, subscribe because those are coming after this one. I just had to do this one first because new kid on the block. But um, Jay on the segue. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. If you guys want to buy a hyper scooter like the one you saw in this video, my Nami Burn E, my guy Paul at Voltage Motor Works, he'll hook you up. Let him know Jay on the Segway sent you, and uh, he's going to take care of you, man. He's going to take care of you. But in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, stick tuned, subscribe. Yeah, I'll show you guys the GoPro and the Insta360's remotes, and uh, those are a little more complex than this one. This guy's a very simpleton, but... It works. See you in the next video. Peace.